Here are 10 things that surprised me when I first came to the United States. Coming right up after this. What is happening my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So on this channel, I share my experiences living in the United States as an international student. I share tips and tricks on how to survive college life and any other videos that come to mind. I sometimes also share the differences between living in Ghana and living here. So if you are new here and this is content that you may be interested in, consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so that when I post any video, you will be one of the first to know. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing 10 things that surprised me when I first came to the United States as a student. So there's one interesting thing about leaving one place and settling in another. And as people, we are constantly on the move. You may be moving from home to go live by yourself or you may be moving from the country where you were born in to live in a different country. You may even move cities because of course, who doesn't want change? And as such, living a country where you've always lived and grown in and become accustomed to and moving to a different country offers different experiences. It comes with cultural shock, it comes with anxieties, expectations and stuff like that. This is the same kind of thing that I went through when I first came to the United States. And as such, a lot of things took me by surprise. Of course, when you've watched a lot of American movies, you get to know that most of these things are not in you know, reality as you think. So having said that, I was like, why don't I share with you guys 10 things that have surprised me since I've been here. And I'm also ready to hear your thoughts if you've experienced any surprises since you moved from one place to another. So without much ado, that's how we say, right? Yes, without much ado, let's jump right into the video. The first thing that surprised me was the number of museums that are scattered across the United States. And my level of surprise increased when I realized that most of these museums are free. So in Washington DC alone, there are a number of museums with so many interesting stuff. And guess what? It's free to enter into any of these museums. In DC alone, I've visited about eight museums. I think, yeah, eight museums. With my best museum ever being the African American Museum. It's one of the amazing museums that you would see. But yes, most of these museums, especially the Smithsonian museums, are free to enter. All you do is walk to the gate, go through security checkpoints, and get into the museum. And these museums are huge. It is estimated that it will take you probably more than five hours to go through all the five floors in the African American Museum alone. I've done it twice and I can say that I've not even seen every exhibit on the floor because there's so much to see, so much to see, so much to do. But yes, my first surprise was the fact that most museums in America is free. My second surprise when I came to the United States is that I found out that every state has its own laws. And the reason this surprises me is that usually when I think of Ghana, I mean, Ghana is one country with the same currency, the same national anthem, the same flag. And so all the laws that are in Ghana governs the whole entire country. Well, in America, it is not like that. New York has its own set of laws. Virginia has its own set of laws, Ohio and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. The basic laws exist. The basic don't steal, don't kill kind of laws exist. But there are some differences when it comes to certain laws in terms of whichever state you are. So there are some states whose parking laws are different. There are some states where they don't have curbside parking or you pay for curbside parking. And there are some states that don't. There are some states that allow you to display your car's license plate or tag numbers just on one side. And there are some states that require you to display these tags on both sides of the car so yes every state and its laws so keep that in mind if you find yourself in the united states don't think that 
all the laws are one size fits all. Nope. What may be legal in Washington State may be illegal in Maryland. So that again, like I said, was a very big surprise to me. Now speaking of states, so my third surprise is going to tie in a little bit to my second surprise since I'm on the subject of states. Now each state you visit offers you a different experience. Believe me, the United States is so big and the geography is different. Population dynamics is different. And so where you find yourself gives you a different experience. For instance, if you find yourself in some of the coldest regions, of course, you can't dress as if you are in the summer. You can't go fishing because the rivers and stuff will be frozen. And then if you find yourself in you know, the places where it's always sunny and all of that, you know that you can go to the beach, you can wear your bikini and your t-shirt and tank top and stuff like that. So every state you visit offers a different experience. Again, like I said, the population dynamics are different, the geographical locations are different. And to me, even though this is one country, but then there are different experiences depending on where you find yourself was also a surprise for me as well. The fourth thing that surprised me when I came to the United States was the fact that every university or most universities have their own police departments. And this was surprising because again in Ghana, we just have like the city police and then the universities have like their own security guards and all of that. But in the United States, it surprised me to find out that universities have full-fledged police departments and these police departments have the power to police go on patrols do all these things they even have um places where they can temporarily detain a student if anything comes up and this to me i felt was really cool because i got to you know experience some of these police departments i visited i had friends in the police department in my school shout out to officer stabler but yes i had friends there and you know i i would always go there ask them questions and things like that so i felt that schools having their own police department is really cool because it also to an extent you know heightens or beefs up first line of campus security so i thought that was cool but again it was very very surprising for me to find this out the fifth surprise that i found out was that Americans also have accent. So if you are a Ghanaian like me or if you come from a different country and you hear Americans speak, all you hear is the slangs that we hear, right? But when two Americans are speaking to each other, they can definitely tell which part of the country they come from because they have an accent. They recognize the accent. And that is why somebody from Alabama Speaking with somebody from Ohio can tell the difference because they have a way of pronouncing certain words or they have a jargon they use and stuff like that. The same way I would recognize another person from Nigeria or another person from Sierra Leone or South Africa based on how they speak. So yes, Americans also have accent and they can tell where a fellow American comes from just by listening to them. Okay, hold on. Whew, that was long but before we proceed with the video and talk about my next five surprises I wanted to take a minute to give a shout out to Smile Photography so Smile Photography is a photography studio where they provide amazing top quality photography and videography services it doesn't matter whether you are doing graduation birthday party any ceremony even if it's a photo shoot Smile Photography has your back like i said they also deal in videography so they can cater for your weddings your engagements your parties or any other celebration that you have contact them on their instagram handle and check out their portfolio and if you like what they offer you can contact them on the numbers listed on the screen smart photography also has packages to deal with all economic standards so if you are broke like me but you still want to have a birthday shoot Smart photography can, you know, work something out for you. So don't let the quality of the image scare you. Talk to them and they will also try to meet you at a point of your needs. Smile photography. They will make your photography smile. Okay, 
back to the video the sixth thing that surprised me when i came to the united states is when i realized how much owning a pet or how much pets means to americans trust me believe me when i tell you the level of importance americans attach to pets dogs cats pets like it's 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 on a whole different level it's so adorable and i've walked through my neighborhood and i've seen pe some people even have statues of their dogs and stuff like that like americans cherish their dogs and pets and pets are actually considered family which was surprising because i mean in ghana yes we have pets but you know those who breed dogs and stuff like that it's mainly for security reasons and things but in america like people's love for pets is a whole different vibe some people actually have like special spots for their pets in their car and um, they take them on walks and i try to pet some people's dogs when i go for walks but generally i'm scared of big dogs so i try not to go near the big dogs but yeah and people will generally talk to you if you are walking your dog because again like i said people love pets here yeah? but not everybody owns one so when they see you walking your dog or when they see someone walking their dog they try to come talk to you and you know try to play with your dog for a while from my observation i think that people are more likely to talk to you in america if you are walking a dog because again hey who doesn't love dogs right so yes it was really surprising to find out the level of importance that is attached to pets in america in general the seventh thing that surprised me when I came to the United States is the fact that most often than not, you can return any item that you've bought, whether it's online or at the store. And I think I referenced this in one of my differences between living in Ghana and living in the United States video. If you've not seen that video, click up here because it's going to pop up and you can watch the full video for yourself. But yes, there are some stores or most stores that would allow you to return anything that you've bought so for instance if i didn't want this shirt again within a certain time frame and it's all dependent on the store some offer one month some offer two months but yes you can walk back into the store and be like hey i bought this shirt i don't want it anymore and just like that you get your refund which is really cool because again back in ghana you dare not do this in some of the stores you know what i mean if you as you walk in the store, you see that giant sign there that says "Good sold and not returnable." So, um, yes, it was really surprising to me that stores are always willing to take back the sneakers that we bought, or the phones that we bought, or the cameras that we bought, and things like that. So, yeah, you, it's a good surprise, anyways. But yes, I've enjoyed a lot of returning stuff. Even as I'm recording this video, there's something on my mind I am trying to return. So, we'll see how that goes. But yes. It was definitely a surprise. The eighth thing that surprised the eighth the eighth thing that surprised me when I came to the United States was when I saw women driving like the huge buses and the trailers. And I'm saying this not because I see women as weak, but because I admire women who try to venture into spaces that are considered to be male dominating so women who are into video games women who are into stem i like it gives me some really good vibes because i've always said that look women are way stronger than we usually give them credit for and one thing that makes me smile is when i see a woman driving like the trailer like the long trailers or what i think the americans call them the semis like those long tracks it's like it just gives me goosebumps in a very good way and it was really surprising to see that yes um women drive like the coaches and the long buses because again it's really nice to have that diversity in these areas and whenever i ride on the bus or i see women like that i try to make eye contact and you know just give them like a salute or a shout out or even tip my hat just so they know that look someone appreciates their grind and the reason it was surprising is that in ghana i know some women who don't even try to drive like big vans and st stuff like that some you know people feel intimidated driving or some women feel intimidated driving big trucks so they will stick to their kia pride and you know the smaller cars they can maneuver easily so when you see women driving these kind of trucks and not 
in movies but in real life it's just really nice and you know i'm always appreciative of them i have a few bus drivers actually who drive like the long buses shout out to amanda but yes um it was really surprising but it was a, it was a good surprise so to all the women out there keep grinding you know we we appreciate all of the things that you do as well okay people so the ninth thing that surprised me was the fact that when you are saying something to somebody especially women you have to put that into context coming from a different country and a different background where things are done differently i mean not too different but where things are usually seen on face value in america it's different right and it surprised me how i would say something harmlessly and you know it will be taken out of context it is not a bad thing it's just you know the social structure and the social politics and we all see and understand things differently and so for me i was like okay if i'm going to say something to somebody whether in a professional way or in a, on a personal way i'll put it in the right context so for instance most people find it awkward especially when they don't know you and you walk up to them and you try to say anything to them or give them a compliment so for me one strategy that i devise is that when i'm walking up to somebody i, I guess say that hey you know i'm going to try to say something to you in a very respectful way before I say it, you know, and sometimes when the conversation keeps going, I'm like, yes, I said that because I don't want to offend you or disrespect you. I come from a different country, so I'm trying to, you know, still learn a few things here and there. Also, in terms of putting things into context, some people don't understand why if they don't know you or if you don't know them, you give them a gift. So sometimes when I have stuff from Ghana like chocolate or anything and I'm trying to say that hey this is proof that you guys don't eat good chocolate people find it awkward so I try to put it into context so they know that oh this is just normal conversation there's no hidden agenda or anything like that so again I was really surprised how much I have to put stuff into context when having certain conversations with certain people especially those that I do not know the tenth surprise that I wanted to talk about, or the tenth thing that caught me by surprise, or that surprised me, was the fact that most Americans love the African accent. Trust me. Forget about all what is going on. Sometimes when I just say something or when I speak somewhere, you know, if I hear people comment, hey, you know, I like your accent. Where do you come from? First time my neighbor heard me speak, she was like, young man, where do you come from? So I'm like, well, I'm from Ghana, West Africa. And then she said, you have a beautiful accent, don't lose it. There are people who have questioned why I've been staying in the United States for a while and I still talk like, <laughs> I'm not doing, you know, I'm going to go here and go there. Yes, I'm trying so hard to maintain my African accent. But it's difficult because over time the system changes you without you even knowing. So I think it's still affecting me. But yes, generally Americans love African accents. It doesn't matter, you know, what you think or what you say. But in my experience, I've met people who are like, hey, you know, I love your accent. I wish I could speak like you and things like that. So those of us who travel for two weeks and all of a sudden you throw your accent in your garbage know that there are people out there who would give anything to have your accent so do as much as you can to protect that accent okay so these are the 10 things that surprised me when i came to the united states and don't get me wrong there are still things that are surprising me day in day out but i might release an updated version of this video once i you know start putting those things into perspective but yes these are the 10 things that surprised me i don't know about you and i don't know about your experiences but definitely share with me in the comment section below if you've ever lived in a different country or if you've ever changed locations within the same countries that you live share with me in the comment section what some of the surprises that you encountered were i would definitely like to hear and know some of those things again you don't even know who has to see this video so try and share this video amongst your community to at least help this channel grow there are people who start 
a grind and a hustle and they ask you for help monetary wise and stuff like that for me i'm not asking for money all i'm saying is that share my videos and share my content with your community please help the channel grow also if you are watching this video and you are not yet subscribed to this channel it takes you 0.05 seconds to subscribe support a brother's hustle support a brother's grind click on the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that anytime i upload a video you will be part of the beautiful family people to get notified thank you guys for watching this video and until i see you on the next video continue staying beautiful and i'll see you around peace